what does this image have to do with this or this? One would think that they were totally unrelated. But the truth is, none of this would have been possible if it weren't for photographs like this one. It was the eccentric photographer Edward Muybridge who started taking pictures of moving bodies, depicting motion very similarly to the way we see a movie today. And it all started here at Stanford University. In 1872, railroad tycoon Leland Stanford commissioned Edward Muybridge to take photographs of his prized racehorse, Occident. Stanford wanted to know whether a galloping horse's four hooves ever left the ground at the same time. So in order to figure this out, Moybridge used 12 cameras that were activated by strings as the horse galloped through. He did this all on Stanford's family farm, not far from where the Cantor Art Center stands on Stanford University today. In the end, not only did Moybridge prove that all four hooves of the horse did, in fact, leave the ground at the same time, but he also caused a sensation in the general public. For the very first time, the world had a better understanding of the true nature of motion. Moybridge then set to work, delving into more studies of motion, capturing the movements of everything ranging from pigeons to lions to human beings carrying out their daily tasks. Moybridge was a man of intrigue. In 1860, he was involved in a terrible stagecoach accident, which nearly killed him. Moybridge was left with a devastating brain injury, one of its several effects being that he could no longer smell or taste. He lived out the rest of his days as a strange, erratic character, often seen absorbed in his work and always with some innovative piece of technology. For many, the most important thing we remember about Moybridge is the aftermath of his photos. Because of his work, motion pictures were possible. While the motion picture itself only became prominent in the later years of his life, Moybridge greatly influenced the industry. His serious photography greatly influenced Thomas Edison, who introduced the use of high-speed shutters into movie-making technology. Many of Moybridge's serious photographs reside in museums like the Cantor Art Center, welcoming all to experience the legacy of a photographer who really planted the seed for popular entertainment as we know it today.